Okay, torture test number one. It has full tank gas and it's 11.01 a.m. So, I have the echo throttle turned off to give it a fighting chance. We got 1500 watts worth of resistive load. I think it's, it's hunting like that because it's cold a little bit. Vent caps on. Alright, see you in a few hours. Okay, it's 120 now. She's still going. And it's just come off the full line. Let's keep her fucking running. So, three hours into it, so it's 201 right now. And I started at 11, obviously. Heater's still getting making hot. So uh, yeah. Get back to you in a little bit. Alright, so it's three o'clock now. Right about right there. So keep rolling. Okay, now it's about 345. The gauge is actually hard over. I get so see you in a few minutes okay it stopped at 347 um, so yeah hell almost five hours of runtime on that on a single gallon like what gallon and a third so that's not bad anyway I'm looking at the manual see what it says okay fuel level super full gauge has full Cap's going back on, and I'm going to start again. It's probably flooded. Little, I think it needs a new spark plug in it, but uh, yeah, making power still. Let's give her a hot supper. There it goes. See you in a while. So it's 7.47 right now, and the uh, p.m. obviously. And it's just coming off full now. So I think it's around probably, I'd say, uh, three, 3 or 4 o'clock where he fueled it up and let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes and fueled it up again, let it start back up. But yeah, it's been around full load since then. And she might be turned out to be Skookum here. I don't know. Let's think let this bitch buck for us tonight. I'll see you in a little bit. So it's 8.30. Not about that much. It says it's about half a tank, but it's not. I'll explain it more a little bit. But, uh, here's still going, so I'm going to plug the heater. Let's see how it reacts.
let's take it inside. All right, so uh, got the side cover. We're inside. Got the side cover off, and just putting my hand on the inverter to see how hot it gets. And believe it or not, it is stone, pretty much stone cold. The alternator hand, because it's sorry, I'm I'm looking at over my cam over my, for my camera, not through my camera. So unfortunately, because the alternator is connected with aluminum to the engine, so it's uh getting all this heat soaked. So it's you can't put your hand on it. Ow, it's hot. Um, I think I was saying a little earlier, uh, last video that the one thing I didn't, <clears throat> didn't make clear was there, I saw markings all over it for, you know, quality control is that it appears that everywhere they double checked each fastener, they, uh, marked it to verify t uh, tightness. Anywho, let's see this oil now. Ooh, let me uh get a, a vessel to catch it because I overfilled it a little bit. And I'm a firm believer that it's okay to overfill oil in, in air-cooled units that require, that use the oil for cooling as well, like these guys. Because it just gives a little something-something and gives you a little buffer from um, hitting the little oil sensor. So let me get the oil drain and I'll get back to you. So I drained the oil and uh, had to go inside. But, uh, I mean, for the most part, it's suspended in the oil. The, all the um, contaminants are suspended in the oil. And I was talking to a buddy and he said the reason why that this oil looks like this, looks so horrible, is because of um, the rings were breaking in, and the well, obviously, and the I already knew that the pre lube uh, ointment they used was doing it as well. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty, uh, pretty gross. I mean. This is the first one I changed. So, and then did that quick oil change. The air is settled out of it, so it looks a little different. But, let's see. Hmm. The, this one, the one that... um. I changed after a few minutes is a lighter, but this one has, you can tell has more contaminants. So, so far, the one thing, big thing I'm getting at with this motor is that, um, it's he the biggest thing with this motor is heat and it's all about heat. Um, Honestly, if you're looking at this, um, this is one of those things where it's going to either last you, you know, a few minutes or it's going to last you the rest of your life. Um, if you're in like a non-critical application, like say that, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world if this doesn't start. Um, say like you're, you're camping and you're just using this to charge your cell phones. Uh, when you have, you could charge them in your truck that you towed your camper with. Yeah. I mean, you always, you have a backup plan, but this is like, kind of like, because it's, it's a luxury and it's okay if the luxury doesn't work. Does it make sense? Cause it kind of makes sense to me. Um, but like I said, one of the biggest things I don't like is the plastic freaking plate in the bottom. Cause that's where everything mounts to. <coughs> Um, there's a, just a couple little knickknack cheap things I really don't like, but I mean, honestly, for the most part, if you're not buying this for a critical application, because I wouldn't buy this for grandma to keep her life support machine going, um, 
when the power is out, I'd buy a Honda. But if I need it, need something to to keep the lights on when the power is out, just for my, me, and it's you know if it doesn't start, whatever, I could be pissed about the bill. Um, and uh, if it was like uh, like again, if it was me, if you're keeping if you're keeping this if you're buying this yourself, what I would do is at least run, you know, run it for about fill with oil fifteen. I run 1540 diesel motor oil in this thing because of the zinc content. Um, what I do is I would, uh, fill it up with just regular gas and, um, you know, run it for about an hour or so, uh, you know, with a little bit of load on it, drain, fill the oil, run it for another 15 minutes, drain, fill the oil. Cause you're trying to get all the other shit that might've been left over from the, uh, um, manufacturing process out of the unit, out of the engine. Um, and at the same time, you're trying to, you know, keep the oil without free of contaminants and because that's what causes wear and all this other bad stuff. Um, but the biggest thing I think what if you put non-ethanol gas in this, this thing would be, and you didn't expect this thing to always, always put out, was it 1600 watts constantly? I mean, you'd be uh, just fine. And um, like I say, biggest another thing is motor oil because this thing relies so much heavily on motor oil to keep for cooling too, as well as lubrication. Um, so yeah, if you just um, um, you know, just follow those three little some things. Oh, change the spark plug because one thing I realized with the same thing was uh, even on a load, it was sitting there here, some po 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 po. Those things. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, don't expect, like I said, don't expect full load out of this all the time. I'd buy this if I need just like, I know I'm going to need about a thousand watts, you know, constantly or a sub. But, uh, you know, because it's, uh, um, it's not built strong enough to handle full load all the time like I'm doing. Uh, because, I mean, that's the alternator and look how tiny it is. Um, it could have used more. One thing I don't like, I really don't like is that. Excuse me. Oh, you can't see it. But the whole size is about the size of a dime. Um. Yeah, for the cooling for the alternator, which I think sucks. I mean, next if I have this thing open again, I'm enlarging that hole a bit, or seeing if I can enlarge that hole at least a little bit because that's another thing is that heat kills alternators. Um, so I'm done rambling. Um, I'm gonna fill it some oil. I'm gonna start it again, see, make sure it starts and runs good, and uh, I'm gonna put away, put it to bed for the night. And tomorrow morning, I'm going to try starting up putting our loading in to see if it puts runs on our load. Because sometimes electron components go out after being overheated and stressed out the hell out. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm waiting this until this thing runs out of the warranty before I do any modifications like that. Um, so, yeah. Also, this plastic is still pretty solid even though I was running it at full tilt. Anyway, that was it. Bye-bye.